but I wanted to introduce and kind of just do a little section on the difference between osteoporosis and osteopenia because I didn't fully know this um, too and I think it's good to know the difference uh, because one can lead to the other. So as we just discussed, a plus one to a negative one when it comes to a T-score is a healthy bone. Negative one to negative 2.4 is an osteopenic bone. What does osteopenia mean? Osteopenia basically means uh, it's a category. It doesn't mean anything particularly, uh, but it's just the category of bone health based off the T-score before osteoporosis. So if you are somebody with osteopenia, you are at an increased risk of developing osteoporosis. This should be a concern if you have other risk factors, smoking, poor diet, low physical inactivity, and Basically, if you're still confused on the difference between osteopenia and osteoporosis, I kind of like using the overweight and obese example. Being overweight is one classification of uh, different healthiness of weight. So there's healthy weight, there's being overweight, and there's obese. Obesity is something we should all try to avoid for all the health complications from that. Being overweight, you don't have nearly the health complications of being obese but you are at an increased risk of becoming obese sometime. Osteopenia is the exact same thing. If you have osteopenia, if you don't do anything about it and don't try to improve your bone mineral density and your T-score, the chances of you getting osteoporosis and developing that actual full-blown bone disease is going to be much, much higher. Uh, so uh, if you are somebody negative 2.5 and lower on your overall T-score, this is something that needs to be treated immediately and uh, hopefully you get to, to a point where you're actually being proactive and can make some changes in your life so you don't have to um, have a fracture and potentially 